in this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to build a custom app in Salesforce. The app in question is a certifications app for our fictional company, Cloudy Computing. We'll begin by creating the custom object and fields needed along with their relationships to any standard objects. From there, we'll cover record types, page layouts, dynamic forms, tabs, the app itself, reports, dashboards, and user access for the app. Finally, we'll build some automations into our newly built app. In the end, we will have a fully functional, mobile-friendly custom application with baked-in automation. Without further ado, let's get started. This is the schema for the application that we're going to be building. So we're going to be using the standard account and contacts objects. Uh, we're then going to be creating some custom objects for course certifications and certifications held and then there's going to be some different field relationships to connect them together so to start with i'm going to be creating the custom objects for the application that we're going to be using uh, so to do that i'm going to go into object manager and there's a few different ways you can do this so you can either do it using the schema builder and you can do it from a spreadsheet or you can use the custom object button here which is the way that i'm going to be doing it so to start with, I'm going to be creating the course object. And it doesn't start with a val. I want to allow reports, activities, tracking, field history, and also search. And save and new. Next, it's going to be certification. Uh, again, doesn't start with a val, reports, activities, field history, and search. And then finally, certifications held. And same settings for all three of them. And that is it. The objects for this application have been created. Next, I'm going to create some fields on the custom objects we just created. And I'm gonna do this using the schema builder. So I'm gonna start with the course objects. So here I need to create a course started field, which is gonna be a date field. I also need a course completed field, uh, which is also going to be a date field. And finally, I need a pick list field I'm going to call status, uh, which will show if the course in question is active or inactive. I also need to create a lookup uh, relationship from the contact object to the course object. The next object I'm gonna create the fields for is the certification object. Uh, so here I need to create a certification description field, uh, which is going to be a text field. And I'm going to set the length to 255. And I don't want a default value, don't need it required and it's not unique or an external ID. I then need to create a lookup relationship from the certification to the course object. The 
last object I'm going to create the fields for is the certifications held object. So this is going to be a junction object between contacts and certifications. So I need to create two master detail relationships here. Uh, the reason I'm using the junction object here is that I need the ability for many contacts uh, to be able to hold many certifications. So I'm going to start with the contact master detail. certification master detail and there we are and as you can see the schema builder um, layout looks very similar to the schema that I documented earlier in the video. Create my app. I need to create tabs for each of the custom objects I just created. So this can be done by going to the tab section in setup. And then selecting new under the custom object tabs. So I just need to select my object and a style for the tab and in here I'm selecting the permissions for users I'll now do this for the certifications held tab Trophy. And lastly, the course tab. And there we are, we've got our custom object tabs now created. Now it's time to create the app. To do this, I'll go into the app manager and select new lightning app in the top right corner. And so I'll start by giving this app a name and a description. Uh, you can also add any branding options here as well if you wish uh, which I'm gonna ignore for now uh, next I need to select a navigation style uh, which I'm gonna leave as standard uh, supported form factors which I want desktop and phone uh, the setup experience which I need to leave as full and any personalization settings, which I'm gonna ignore for now. Uh, now we have the option to add any utility items. So here I think I'm going to add, a, oh, a to-do list, and notes. Next and probably the most important part of creating the app is the objects that we want to select for it so I'm going to start with accounts then contacts uh, courses certifications and certifications held 
reports and dashboards and last but not least the user profiles that can access the app which for now I'm going to just select system administrator and now select the app launcher and search for the app we've just created you can see we've got the certifications app here and that loads up with all of the different objects that we've just listed when creating the app. I now want to adjust the record pages for the new objects I've created. So to do this, I'm gonna go into the Lightning App Builder and select New. And here I'm going to create a record page and I'll give it a label and select the object. And here you've got the option of choosing a page template or cloning a Salesforce default page. And for this, I'm going to just clone an existing one. I now want to customize the page. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is upgrade the page to dynamic actions. To do this, I'll go to the highlights panel, then use the upgrade now button. And here I'll just select migrate and choose it from the existing course layout. I'm now going to rearrange the tabs. I'm not a fan of having the related tab first. So I'm going to move that to the bottom. Instead of using the default details section, I'm going to create my own using dynamic forms. I'll start by dragging in a field section and then dragging in the fields that I want. So I'll use course name, status, course started, course completed. and I'll leave it as that. I'll also remove the existing standard component because we don't want to be duplicating fields on the page. So over here, I like the new um, view for activities with the different icons, but if you wanted to uh, change it back to the tabs view, you can do that using this checkbox here. And the last thing that I'm going to do is add the Slack component to the activity section. Now that's all done, I'll select save. And I'll activate this. So here with the activation, you've got the options of uh, setting it as the org default, uh, the app default, or you can be more granular, granular with the rec app record types and profiles that you want it to appear on but for now I'm just going to leave this as the org default uh, for desktop and phone. If I now do a quick comparison from the old record page to the new one, so you can see this is the old one, we've still got the related tab first. And if I now move to, so this is the new record page so you can see details is now f first and the look is a little bit cleaner and we've also got the related slack messages component as part of activity as well to finish up this app i want to create a home page to do this i'll go back to the lightning app builder select new and this time I'll select home page. Again, I've got the option of a template or default. Uh, here I'll use a template. Now for the components at the top, I'll add a dashboard component from a dashboard 
I've created for these objects. Uh, then I'll add in today's events, today's tasks, and the assistant. Finally, I'll save and activate it. Here you can see I've got the option again when activating it to set it as the org default, app default or app and profile. So for this I'm going to set it as the app default for the certifications app. I've created the home page, now I need to add this to the app. To do this I go into the app manager. Find the app that I've created and select edit. I now go to the navigation items and add in the home item. I'll move this up to the top as I want it to be the first item that's displayed. And here is the finished app. I've got the home page with the dashboard and the components I want. I've also got all the different objects that I need for this app. Uh, each one with a customized record page giving a similar look and feel throughout the app. <laughs> 